All right, Mod 5, Lesson 17, our lesson objective for today is to draw parallelograms to clarify their attributes and define parallelograms based on their attributes. Now, when we get in class tomorrow, we're going to be drawing parallelograms to help clarify and define their attributes. So how do you think that will help you? So that's what you got to be thinking about. All right. Now, the standard we're working with is still MAFS 5G. 2, 3, which understand the attributes belonging to the category of two-dimensional figures also belong to the subcategories of that category. All right, so let's take a look at definition first. Parallelogram. A parallelogram is a quadrilateral with two sets of parallel sides, okay? Now, if you notice these markings down here, and I'm right open with red, this one here and these two right here, it shows the sides are equal. So in other words, this side here is equal to this side here. And the only reason we have two on this side because they're not exactly the same as the ones on the left and right. So the top and bottom are equal to each other though, okay? So in a parallelogram, you have two sets of parallel sides. And that is the key to a parallelogram, two sets of parallel sides. Now, since they have two sets of parallel sides, they have opposite sides that are equal. So left is equal to right, and the top is equal to bottom. Now, they also have opposite angles. Opposite angles are gonna be equal. So these two are gonna be equal, and then this one here and this one here are gonna be equal. So those are the attributes of a parallelogram. Two sets of parallel sides, opposite sides, and opposite angles are equal. All right, so let's take a look at this little interactive one I have here. If you notice right now, this is a parallelogram, and you notice D and B are exact same angles, and A and C are the same. Now watch as I move this parallelogram around. The the opposite sides are going to remain parallel. The only thing that's going to change is the length of them and the angle of the opposite angles. But if you notice, the angles are going to stay equal and also the lengths of the opposite sides are going to stay the same. Okay? So the only thing that's going to change is the way it looks. If the both opposite sides are still going to be parallel and just that opposite sides are equal and opposite angles are equal. All right, so now we're back at our flow chart we started yesterday and we went all the way through trapezoids. Now we're gonna add parallelograms to this one. Now, where do you think we're gonna add the parallelogram to? Think about it. We start with polygons, went to quadrilaterals, four-sided polygon. Then we have non-trapezoidal with no parallel sides. So can it go there? Then it says a trapezoid has at least one set of parallel sides. Well, parallelogram has at least one set. So can I put them underneath like this? Because a parallelogram has two sets of parallel sides, opposite angles equal and opposite sides are equal. But you notice the arrow going up. A parallelogram is also a subcategory of a trapezoid because it has at least one set of parallel sides. And then it would also be a quadrilateral because it has four sides. And then it's also a polygon because it three or more sides, closed figure, no curved edges. Okay. So like I said, every day we're going to add to this flow chart. So just make sure you're adding it to it every day. All right. See you tomorrow.